Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Asiya. This is Asiya's Plant Life, and today I have a treat for you guys. So it's been a while since I've put up a haul video and I figure we are in the throes of autumn, the leaves are falling, plants are just abundant in the local nurseries and garden centers and this is really a great time to purchase plants as well as starting your fall garden. So what I'm going to show you today is a small plant haul that I got from um, two places. One is Grandma Bee's Nursery. I have done a tour of that nursery. That will be up on Wednesday, so be sure that you click that notification bell so you can be one of the first to watch that video when it's posted. And then also my local Walmart in the Conyers, Georgia area. So what I'm going to show you today are five plants, three from Grandma Bee's, two from my local Walmart, and I'm so excited. Now, if you guys don't know, um, fall is a great time to buy plants. You would think that it would be it would be spring and summer. And while there are a host of plants available in spring and summer, fall is a great time if you're interested in low light or medium light plants. Of course, during this time of year, we have less daylight. So with the nursery centers, um, the big box garden centers and nurseries will roll out this time of year, or all of those plants that can survive and thrive on low light. So this is the perfect time for you to grab plants for the low light rooms in your home, your office, or any place else where you don't have that bright light um, that you would need for some other plants. What I love is that the foliage of the plants that are available this time of year are usually very intricate and they're so beautiful and some of them can be very colorful such as um, crotons which I don't have here today but I will be sure to include my croton in one of my next videos so that you can see it. Alrighty, so the first one I'm going to show you, this is my pride and joy. Now, in my last video, when I did the family tree garden center tour, I talked about wanting to find a begonia. I was specifically looking for an angel wing begonia, but unfortunately, this time of year, those are not available. And I did find some other varieties of begonia there, but it wasn't what I was looking for. Well, when I went to Grandma B's, look at this beauty that I found. Now, this is called a Rex begonia and I have it very close so you guys can see the detail on these leaves. Tell me how beautiful that is. I, I'm literally getting goosebumps talking about this plant because it is so phenomenal, is so stately and begonias can get to be huge plants with the right care and the right lighting, right soil conditions. These plants can be huge. Now, begonias traditionally are outdoor plants, but they can be brought in, um, brought indoors. And the best thing about a begonia is they can thrive in bright light and also medium light. With the perfect lighting, you will continue to see the striations and coloring of the leaves. This is currently in a six inch pot and I'm going to be, um, linking a video or doing a video and then I will be sure to um, come back and link it for um, how I repot this beautiful plant. Next I'm going to show you, now this is a zebra plant and I know you guys can see why it's called the zebra plant, right? The striations in the leaves, the stripes, they look just like a zebra and the green and the leaves is so deep and detailed and pure it's it's just it's amazing now i know this might look like white on your camera but it's actually a very pale green almost creamish color but the contrast between the green and the and this creamy light green or creamish off-white color is amazing this is a um a four, it's a four inch pot? Yes, this is a four inch pot. And this is another one that I will be repotting. Let me show you guys this here. Look at the stems of these leaves. Let's see if you guys can, yeah, there we go. The stems are almost this reddish, deep maroon, brownish color. And again, that contrast is just striking. It's stunning, it's beautiful. And this plant, as it grows, um, it becomes another stately plant that's definitely a conversation starter. 
Moving right along, right here, we have this beautiful bird's nest fern. Now I'm just gonna lift this up a little so you guys can get a view of this beautiful plant. And when we take a look down on the inside, it looks like an actual bird's nest is growing on the center of this, from the center of this plant. All of the leaves actually grow from the center of this plant or from the bird's nest. It's absolutely beautiful. This was one of the plants that I got from Walmart. Now the begonia and the zebra plant that I just showed you guys, those two plants, Rex begonia and zebra plant, these two plants came from Grandma Bee's nursery. When I get to the end of this video, I will give you guys a recap of where the plants came from and also how much I paid for them. But this bird's nest fern, now, I don't know if you guys remember, but ferns, I've had my challenges with, with ferns. Um, the only other fern that, I, that I've had was a, um, a Boston fern, and I managed to kill that one. So I did some research on this bird's nest fern. This is a medium light plant. It's going to do very well in my bathroom, and um, I'm looking forward to see how this one grows. This one is also in a six inch pot, just like my rex begonia and i will be repotting all five of these plants in a video so you guys be sure to subscribe if you haven't so that you'll see that video and see the beautiful pots that they're going to be placed in all right these next two plants are the same plant right but just look at the difference in the growth in the two plants now the small little one here that is in this small i want to say this is a three inch pot which you don't really see too often you usually see a two or a four inch but this to me looks like it might be a three inch pot and this beauty here was also um purchased at grandma bees and it's it's gorgeous it's a uh, a baby plant and what i love about it is that i'll get to nurture it as it grows and thrives and really learn how to care for this particular plant now here to my left this is the mama. Now, when I saw this in the Walmart um, garden section, I, I stood there and looked at it for about five or six minutes because I really was like, do I want to buy this plant? The price was right, um, but it wasn't the price. I, I have to admit, I was a little intimidated by this plant because of the size of the plant. This is only my second this one is my second Fretonia purchase and my last Fretonia I bought um, a few years ago and it didn't have the right light and unfortunately it passed away. So I was kind of hesitant about purchasing another Fretonia. I made the choice to do so at Grandma B's yesterday and then today when I went to Walmart and I saw this beauty, I really had to take a moment to just breathe and consider my abilities before purchasing this plant. But when you look at it, guys, I'm just, I'm trying to give you the full view of this plant. This one is actually flowering. Look at that. Now I've never seen a Fretonia flower. This is the first time that I've seen one flowering and it's gorgeous. Now this little one right here, I'm going to go ahead and clip off. Oh, it just came on out on its own. But it's, um, you know, hey, I guess that happens sometimes, right? But it's flowering and it's beautiful. And I have to admit, you know, a lot of times when you go into a Walmart and you're looking for plants, you really might have to sift through quite a bit because sometimes the plants with leaves that are dying off or browning, um, are mixed in with the plants that are healthy and beautiful. And you have to really look through so that you're getting the best out of what they have to offer at that moment. But this was the only Fretonia that was there. And I, I, I really couldn't understand why this Fretonia was just there because it's practically flawless. There's a little leaf down here that's kind of wilting away. And then the flower that you guys saw me pull out. But other than that, it's, it's flawless. There are no bugs on it. Um, the leaves are full. It's got the right amount of water in the soil. It's just perfect. So I really couldn't understand why this plant was still there. But after about five or six minutes of having the conversation I'm having with you in my head, I said, you know what? I'm gonna get this plant. I'm gonna repot it and I'm gonna love on this plant. And this plant is going to be my star. So I brought it home and I'm so excited about having this Fretonia and what I am going to learn about myself and about plants as I care for this beauty. 
So wrapping up guys, three of these plants came from Grandma Bee's Nursery. I will be sure to link the location and the website and phone number in the um, description box. And then the other two plants came from my local Walmart. So this little Fretonia here was $4.99. This Rex begonia, this beautiful plant here with the purple and green and blue hues to it was $11.99. And this zebra plant was also $11.99. Those three came from Grandma Bee's. This bird's nest fern that I grabbed from my local Walmart garden center was $10 even. And this beautiful Fretonia, large Fretonia that's flowering that came in a hanging pot was um, $14 even. So not a lot of money spent for these plants. The pots will cost more than the plants. And as you guys grow in your plant collection, or those of you that already have a plant collection know that if you're looking for great pots or something that's unique, they can cost a bit. But not a lot of money spent for these plants. I'm super excited about my fall plant haul. I will have more plants to show you in my next all right, plant people, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this plant haul. Um, I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm really excited about this plant haul and the plants that I got from Walmart and Grandma Bees. I'm looking forward to repotting them and showing you how they look in their new digs and once I get them placed in um in my home and just showing you more about these plants i will have another plant haul video coming up in the next few weeks so you know what to do make sure you subscribe click that notification bell if you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment share it with your friends and your um and your family and be sure be sure be sure to fill your home or your office or whatever space that you spend time in with plants you will thank yourself and your plants will thank you for the love that you give. I'm Asia and I will see you in my next video. Peace.